Let me just zoom correctly. Okay. Question 21. It says a uh, white dwarf and neutron star are two of the possibilities for final resting place of an aging star. To solve statements below, which correctly describe white dwarf, neutron star, uh, and or comparison between the two. Okay. So it's a true false question. Um, I'm just evaluating each question one at a time. Okay. The pressure supporting a, and as usual, you know, read the sections <laughs> and uh, make sure you understand them. Um, the pressure supporting a white dwarf, preventing him from collapsing under gravity, also known as maintaining hydrostatic equilibrium, comes from a quantum mechanical effect called the degeneracy pressure. Yeah, that's right. I think I was describing that in an earlier question above. So yeah, that, that is right. <laughs> um, White dwarf is the final resting place for a star of a mass similar to our sun, a star like our sun will eject a large part, yeah, as it goes to red giant stage and become white dwarf as it runs out of nuclear fusion fuel. Yeah, that, that is correct. Um, at least that's what we, uh, what the model calculation shows. And um, so we do have a planetary nebulae, uh, which by the way, has nothing to do with the planet that are nearby us that we can see. And I think for some of them, we do see uh, what is either white dwarf or white dwarf candidate at the core of them. So this is uh, both based on observation and model calculation. The, Pressure supporting a neutron star also comes from a quantum mechanical effect called degeneracy pressure, but it takes degeneracy pressure on neutrons to maintain the balance needed. Yeah, I think that's what I was describing above. For a star that's more massive, um, you can you basically force electron back into proton. I mean, it's an oversimplified description, but that's basically what happens. And uh, electron plus proton, it becomes a neutron and, um, and um, and that have more heavier particle can provide a greater degeneracy pressure that will prevent the collapse of the uh, more massive core of the more massive star. Okay, uh, light emitted by a white dwarf comes from the residual heat of the stellar body. No further fusion takes place in a white dwarf. That is also correct. I mean, that's why it's white dwarf. Um, it, because it ran out of, uh, so it ran out of hydrogen to fuse, and for heavy enough uh, stars, it will fuse higher elements, but that goes only up to iron. Once you reach iron, then fusing further doesn't produce any energy. So iron core is where it kind of stops. And when it runs out of all the hydrogen that can be fused, either in the core, in the inner to outer layers, then what's left over the ash is the white dwarf. A uh, neutron star may result from a very massive star that has undergone a supernova explosion, such as a type two supernova. Yeah, that, that's right. Uh, I think it, the textbook describes the process of first there's a core collapse and then there's rebounding and <laughs> sounds all very fancy. And I trust the people who do the calculation and I'll just leave that there. Um, did I just check everything so far? Let me look at the last one. A neutron star is the Final resting place, bro star, much more massive than the sun. Yes, I talked about it a couple of times. It forms when the gravitational pull is too strong to be balanced by electron degeneracy. Yeah, that is right. Um, so white dwarfs are maintained, or white dwarfs are maintained by electron degeneracy pressure. And when that's not enough and uh, it collapses, core implosion, then uh, what, that, what stops that implosion is uh, when, enough neutrons to form and the, the neutron degeneracy pressure stops the collapse. So that is right. <laughs> yeah, I think I do remember writing a question where every choice was correct. Um, I figure I can do it one or two times. This is that one or two times. 